Hello there and welcome to Lower 6 Maths A Level Practice Paper C. Here we're working on question 13, a logs based question. The value of a car V in pounds is modelled by the equation V equals ABT where A and B are constants. T is the number of years since the car was purchased. The line L shown in the diagram illustrates the linear relationship between T and log base 4 of V for T is greater than or equal to 0. The line L meets the vertical axis at 0, log base 4 of 40,000 is shown. The gradient of L is minus a tenth. Write down an equation for L. Right, OK, well, L, uh, we know the gradient here is minus a tenth. So uh, we know the y-intercept is log base 4 of 40,000. So all this needs is a y equals mx plus c, effectively. So for y, that's going to be the y-axis here, which is log base 4 of v equals m which is minus a tenth and times that by x which is effectively t here uh, plus c and c is effectively here log base 4 of 40,000. Great, okay, part B is find in exact form the values of a and b. So what I'm going to need to do is rearrange this equation here and get it into something that looks like v equals a b to the power of t. So um, to get rid of these logs, I need to group them all together first. So log base 4 of v, and between the first line and the second line, I'm going to subtract log base 4 of 40,000. That was still equal minus a, quart, minus a tenth t. Um, the way that we now combine logs together when there's a subtraction involved is we can divide the logs. So v over 40,000 equals minus a tenth t. And um, what we're going to do now to get rid of this log base 4 here is we're going to do 4 to the power of both sides. That will get rid of the log 4, so equal v over 40,000. And that's going to equal 4 to the power of minus a tenth t. So v equals 40,000 times 4 to the power of minus a tenth t, which is great. Um, However, we're not quite there yet, because if we look up here, A, yeah, that's great, that's 40,000, but B is just on its own. It doesn't have any minus a tenth up there times T. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to split up the minus a tenth and the four, so that's a times and the minus a tenth here. So it would be 4 to the power of minus a tenth of T. Um, and what I've done from this side here to this side here is effectively the opposite and the reverse of the indices law where I multiply my indices if I've got, if I've got an indice of an indice. So here, final answer now is 40,000 for A, and B is 4 to the power of minus a tenth. What's going to be useful to know in the future is the value of that, 4 to the minus tenth, get my calculator out, and that's not. 0.87055. It does keep on going a little bit there. Okay, moving on to part C. So C, um, V equals 40,000 times 0 0.87055 to the power of t. With reference to the model, interpret the values of constant a and b. So for the, um, for the value a, the 40,000 refers to the initial price of the car. Now the reason that is, is if you plug 0 into this formula here, 0 0.87055 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is a 1, so it's 40,000 times 1, so that will give you the initial price after t equals 0 years, which is mean that, that refers to it being initially the price of the car. And the, the coefficient of b refers to the percentage percentage annual change of the car. So if you can imagine, if we were to plug in 
t equals 1, it would be 40,000 times 0 0.87, which would effectively be a 13% decrease. So the annual percentage change, and effectively here this is representing a 13% decrease year on year. So decrease it by 13% one year, after the next year decrease that value by 13%, after the third year decrease the initial value previously by 13%, etc, etc. Find the value of the car after seven years, so all we need to do there is just plug in t equals 7, so 40,000 times 0 0.87055 to the power of 7 and get your calculator out and that would do the work for you and we get there 15,157 pounds okay final slide here after how many years is the value less than 10,000 so using our v equals 40,000 times 0 0.87055 to the power of t. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to set the value of this equal to 10,000 and we'll see when it's less than it. Uh, so equals 40,000 times 0 0.87055. Uh, divide through by 40,000 and you get a quarter. A quarter equals 0 0.87055t. Now what's going to be a bit better here is I'm going to change this back into 4 to the power of minus a tenth t. Uh, you'll see why in a second. So what I'm going to do now is log of base 4. Equals minus a tenth t. Now what's going to happen here is log base 4 of a quarter. Now if you think of a quarter as 4 to the power of minus 1, then what I can do here is I can pull that minus 1 out as a factor to the front, and now it's just log base 4 of 4 equals minus a tenth t. So cancel out the negatives on both sides. Log 4 of 4, that's always 1. So 1 equals a tenth t, so t is going to equal 10. So after 10 years, the model is at £10,000. Okay, final question. Now question F, state a limitation of the model. So I'm just going to read out what the, um, exam what the mark scheme suggests. Um, so acceptable answers include um, the model is not necessarily valid for large values of t. So that's referring to as cars get older and older, they generally start to increase in value if they're well maintained. Um, in addition, the value of the car is not necessarily just related to age. It's the, um, the manner in which the owner has kept the car. If they've kept it well, then that that's, will increase the value of the car, keep it in its service, etc. All of you um, A-level students will know that. Uh, and the mileage will also affect the, affect the value of the car as well. So when you're looking to buy cars, everyone, then be careful of the mileage. The, and don't just use a log-based model. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so you just need one of those examples there just for the one marker for part F. Great, that's 12 marks and we've finished paper C now.